So you're thinking about picking up an RX 6600 for your next gaming computer? You wonder what kind of performance you can get out of it. That's what today's video is all about. We have a benchmarking video for the RX 6600. There will be timestamps in the description below. So a certain part of the video like jump to, you're more than welcome to do so. Some other links down there may interest you. Don't forget the all that fun YouTube stuff on your way down to that description box. But without wasting all your time, let's flip you over and we'll show you the components that make up today's test bed. For the components that make up today's test bed, we have the AMD Ryzen 5 7600X. We have the Gigabyte B650 Oris Elite AX AM5 motherboard. We have G Skewers Flare X5 Series AMD X EXPO 32 gigs of memory running at 5600 megahertz. This was the only thing in the system that was overclocked. That is overclocked to the 5600 megahertz. For the storage, we have Kingston NV2. 1 terabyte M.2 22280 NVMe PCIe SSD for the graphics card we are running the 6600 we have the power call of fighter radio on RX 6600 8 gig to be able to keep that CPU cool we have the be quiet pure loop 240 millimeter all-in-one water cooling system to power the whole system we do have the EVGA 600 watt non-modular power supply and for the case today we have the metallic gear neo g mid tire so that was the components that make up today's test bed i do have five different benchmarks for you today i did run heaven benchmark i ran borderlands 3 and cyberpunk 2077 all three of these was ran at 1080p max setting i did run fortnite i ran that with epic view distance everything else on low and then i did run some valorant and the valorant game that i played today was at 4k with the maximum settings as well so let's show you some game footage and show you the numbers that i got while playing these games All the games today was ran without ray tracing or the super sampling that's available through AMD. These was all stock numbers. 
no overclock to the GPU or the CPU. The only thing that was overclocked was the RAM sticks, and it was overclocked to the 5600 megahertz speed. That's pretty well the performance you can expect out of these games. I think they all ran pretty good, even Cyberpunk 2077. And with max settings at 1080p, I think it did pretty good. It didn't quite stay at that 60 frames per second, like a lot of gamers want. If you want to, you could always go in there and turn that down to high settings or something. Get you a little bit better frame rates out of it. Of course, everybody knows by now, this card is aimed at 1080p. That's why most of the games are ran at 1080p in today's video. But I, for being a 1080p card, I think you do pretty good with the purchase of this card. There will be a link in the description below if you'd like to pick one of these cards up. Some other links down there may interest you. Don't forget to do all that fun YouTube stuff when you're way down that description box. You all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.